Hello and welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can determine the percentage of built-up area, vegetation area, and all of that from your land cover data. Here, I got mine from ESRI's database, and you can also get yours from the Living Atlas database. The link is in the description on how you can download similar data. There's also a link on how to clip this data to your specific study area. Do well to check that out if you need it. So here I have my clips data. The first thing we'll be doing will be to convert the vector, the raster data, which is this image, to a vector data. So on my toolbox, I'll go to analysis, go to tools, and I'll search for raster. And we'll be looking for a raster to polygon. Yeah, I saw that just here, right here. Raster to polygon. So we'll convert this raster file to a polygon layer. In the input raster, we'll use the clips layer. And then the output raster, every other thing is set up. So we just put it this way and run. So it converts the file to a vector file. Now the next step which we will do is that we will open the attribute table of the vector image and add an area field. Let's open the attribute table. We'll create a new field this time to calculate the area of each of these vectors. Remember, these vectors are the different land cover types. So we'll create an area to calculate all the areas here. We'll add fields. Here in this, in the field name, we can call it area. And the alias is also area. Just double click the data type. We'll set it to float, the number formats, we'll set the category to numeric. You can set the number of decimal places to three, and then click on OK. When you're done, you click on save. Perfect. So we can close this guy. Next thing we'll do is to, um, on the attribute table, we can right click any of these points here. We can right click here. No, that will be on the area field. Right click, calculate geometry. Yeah. So it gives us the, the name of the field, which we want to calculate here area. And then the property we are calculating here, we'll be calculating the geodesic area. If there are any other fields we want to calculate, perform calculations for, we can add them here. Then we'll select the units for calculation. In this case, we'll select it to hectares. And then we'll set a coordinate reference system to the reference system of our file. You can always use a new one a custom reference system when you are done with all of that we click on ok and it runs perfect so here we now have the area of all of these vector files as you can see here they are very small and as shown on the attributes table they are also very many so we Another thing you can always note here is that the grid code is not much. There are just a few land cover types that are represented here. So to do that, the next thing we'll do will be to go to our attributes table and then right click on the grid code or anywhere basically. But let's click on summarize. And then your input table is automatically set. You can save this field if you want it saved differently yeah to a custom name here are the important fields to select 
the first field we'll be selecting will be our grid code the next field will select the statistics type for this grid code will be unique yeah then we'll also select the area column the area field and set it at sum the case field which we'll be setting out will be grid code setting the case field to grid code helps this helps the data to be grouped by the grid code so when every of your field is set up you click on run and it automatically creates it automatically creates a statistics table here under this portion so you can click on it and open thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video